Lot for joining us here on the Early Bird Special. It is 542. Let's join Chris O'Brien and Janine Coyle around the water cooler, see what people will be talking about today. I can imagine that many of us will talk about baseball and beautiful weather. Good morning. What? Hey, hey. Baseball? Take me out to the ball game. Baby. I did go to the ball game yesterday. I got finished doing the noon news, looked outside, and I thought, this is a baseball <laughs> sort of day. Yeah, I heard you were singing the national anthem, th throwing the entire crowd off. <laughs> I, I did. JD, can you see after he wore that shirt? Well, Funny you should bring that up. See, J.D. doesn't do any work like Tony does. No, <laughs> this man shirt. has <laughs> shirts. <laughs> Would start, looks like Betsy Ross threw up on him. You know what I mean? Anyway. They let him wear that in public? Get out of here, man. <laughs> Go do some work. See, it's... Tony can never come in because Tony's hard at work. J.D. fills in for Tony. What's he do? Goof off. Get coffee, wear weird shirts. You know, what are you going to do? It's festive, isn't it? It certainly he is. Said, he said he wore it in honor of the Reds winning yesterday. By the way, we're still decorated here for U.K. We might as well pop these things, why don't yeah. we? I'll tell you what was really neat about the game. First of all, hearing those uh, familiar World Series names in there, Eric yeah. Davis and, and Chris Sabo, what good a day. comeback for him. Down yeah. and dirty, just enjoying himself. Yeah, good day yesterday for Chris. Well, not too good for Eric, I guess. No, uh, Eric off on was a down a note, weak. But, uh, but I'll tell you who assumed the leadership right away. Barry Larkin, mm -hmm. first one on base, first one to score in the 1996 season. And, uh, of course, it was a quiet moment of prayer for John McSherry in the beginning. It was very emotional. Yeah, had the, uh, the flag at half staff and... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, was I guess the team chaplain led in prayer before the game started mm -hmm. yesterday. So. You know, there's been some uh, criticism of some of Marge's comments. They seem just a little bit selfish. She, she was uh, talking about how how could this possibly happen to to me? She said, she was <laughs> yeah. quoted that way. It's like, geez, Marge. Oh, I'm know. sure she didn't mean it like that. No, she probably know. meant it like just opening day, the tradition in Cincinnati with everything coming yeah. off. You know, without she a was hitch. disappointed. Yeah, you know, and but what are you going to do? Yeah. So it's a sad yep. turn of events. Yeah, Passover begins uh, at sundown this evening for those who celebrate the, the Jewish Passover and Holy Week, of course, for Christians. That's right. Yeah. Easter Bunny's going to be here before you know it. Hippity hoppity, <laughs> happy <laughs> Easter. So a bumper sticker on his car. You know, how's my driving? Call one. 800 eat eggs. It was kind of <laughs> kind of a weird thing, but that's coming up. Do you help him with that Sunday. stuff, Janine, or does he just come up with it all by himself? No, I write it all, Brian. <laughs> I write it all. Have you guys counted? Have you guys counted the number of clocks you're going to have to turn back? Uh, no, I don't. Turn I, forward. Turn no, no, forward. tell him, Chris. I don't bother with that. Janine stuff. doesn't bother with it. Dude. She just waits. So <laughs> eventually, so, it catches up in the fall. Yeah, we're almost ready to catch up with our clocks in the car and, and, and other places around. But yeah, you, you're right. You don't realize how many clocks or watches you have until well, it's time to reset them. My watch is still off. It says Wednesday the fourth because uh, <laughs> because of the 29th day of February. That messed oh, me up. I, I still like have you, Brian. Been messing that up. You're my kind of guy. Anyway, birthdays today. Marlon Brando. A uh, big celebrity. I mean, a big, a big celebrity, celebrity is uh, 72 today. He's going to star in a remake of his big hit uh, Streetcar Named Desire. He'll play the streetcar. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Uh, Alec He's Baldwin. He's cruel today. Alec yeah. Baldwin, 38. So what else is new? Uh, Eddie Murphy is having a birthday, 35 today. And Wayne Newton, Mr. Las Vegas, Mr. Branson, Missouri, I guess these days, is uh, 54 today. You know, TV Guide was born on this date in 1953. How old is TV Guide then? 1953, Let's I don't say know. 42. That, that hooked on math uh, <laughs> is not working 42. too well. 42. 43. Yeah. You know who was on the first cover? I That's have good, no idea. That's a good question for you. The first cover. You know, Janine? Uh, Johnny Carson. No, it was Desi Arnaz Jr., Whoa. Lucy, Lucy and Desi's uh, baby. You know, <laughs> interesting, I was just over at the Historical <laughs> Society here at Museum Center, and I saw an old TV guide from the 50s, and it's so neat to, to look at the shows that were on, and uh, I think there was, a, there was a commercial for an ad for McDonald's, and hamburgers were like 13 cents. Yeah, it's kind of neat to, to go through those old Life magazines or yeah. TV guides. I know you have your National Geographics. <laughs> I do have, have a big collection at home. Always checking out the jungle section. There, hey, you guys have a good one. We'll get over the hump, and we'll catch you tomorrow. All righty. Bye-bye. Happy, happy birthday, Dylan, again. Oh, okay. happy birthday. What, what birthday is it? Eight years old. Happy eight. birthday to Dylan, their son. All right, yeah. here we go. Oh, good. Hey, how about happy birthday to me? I was there. I did all the work. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, Janine, happy birthday <laughs> to you. you. Chris and Janine, we'll see you guys next time around. All right, fine. As we come back here Switch on the Early Bird Special, uh, <laughs> we have a birthday greeting, too. And for this, I want